Oh, uh, well, welcome back to the channel, man. Hippo Prince by your boy Prince. Today, I'm gonna be analyzing breaking boy, down man. bars, man. Today, we'll be bringing you DJ Switch where it goes with features in STC Youngster CPT and Dumi Molekan, aka Stogity. Just to bring you some little info about who who the, who the owner of the song is. DJ Switch is a South African veteran hip hop DJ who actually got on the spotlight as a break dancer, but actually got more famous as a TV presenter from the year 2004 to 2008. And since then, he's been kidding shows, features, and sets, and all that, man. So yeah, let's just get into it, man. DJ Switch, where it go featuring the three artists. Let's get into it, man. It's the switch up, baby. There's always something missing, man. It's never clear, need to polish air in there If I wasn't a Christian, man I ain't mad though, it's never fair and square That's just the way it goes Verse 5 Micah, daily prayers five times, I'm a nice guy <laughs> Tell them house niggas hating to my likers, I want nice things Little white fans with a nice swing in the back for my like these And I'm Nikes, they don't say a lot of Santin, but you keep taking me back to that one thing What happened with Ricky? What happened to back to the city? What numbers you shipping? What car was you whipping? You hello kitty nigga, fuck is you thinking? Uh, that's Tumi Molekane, aka Stogichi So on the opening lines is just breaking up about how good he is with traps Saying he makes every verse five mark, you know, talking about a source magazine, which is a hip hop magazine, and they actually read albums from a rating of one mark to five marks annually or maybe semi annually. So he's saying an album that will get a five mark rating is a sup was considered to be a superior hip hop album. So he's saying, Hey, yo, man, I make every verse five mark, like, not even my album is five mark, not even a song, but a single verse is fair enough to make it to the five mark rating, or maybe to make your album to the five mic rating so i think he's just talking to dj switch that hey yo man thanks for inviting me but also congratulations to you your album about to be given a five mic rating and then he uses the five as an ep4 he went on to play with a five on the second line talking about daily prayers five times a day which is actually meaning he's he's actually meaning his only spiritual sense because daily prayers five at ten, times a day is what Muslims do. They pray five times a day so to stay connected to Allah. Yeah, so he's his spiritual sense. Forgive him if you may not understand some of the things that he is about to say. It's just strictly spiritual because hip hop is spiritual, man. Hip hop is a religion. So, and then he says he turned these house haters to his like, as you know, back in the day when he started trapping. The most dominant genre in South Africa was quiet and house music. So everyone was just never for it for hip hop. They just never had hope or maybe be positive on what other rappers are doing. They just never gave a damn up until now that they are actually making money. Hip hop is recognized in SA and the rappers are making huge of loads of money. So yeah. Those 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 haters now they like him, they yeah. Ask him for photos and all that because he's now famous not only in SA but globally through this genre that they never gave a fuck about in SA back in the day. And then he wants on to address the things that he wants to say. He wants nice things only, man. Being a white fence will actually symbolize the middle class mostly in the US. And then he uh, swing at the back of the yard for the kids like his um so yeah, that's just the things he wants, man. And also, because there's always some hidden content behind every single line. <laughs> so the hidden content is that he brought swing and he brought fence. And then there's this line, swing for the fence, which is a phrase to aim higher, which means to aim higher in life. It's actually taken from baseball and cricket, whereby you just swing a bit hard so that the ball can reach over the fence or maybe over the well. So yeah, he's just talking about it. And then he went on to address people asking him a lot of questions. What guy is he driving? What happened with Ricky? Obviously, talking about Ricky because Ricky, Ricky is a former motif record artist and, and to me is a motif record boss. So 
people are asking him what happened with Ricky because Ricky supposedly left the label in 2014. So, yeah, man, people are like, what happened with Ricky? Is there a few or something? It's like, come on, man, stop here with those questions. They are even calling him a Hello Kitty nigga because in 2013 he released a track Hello Kitty. And back then, prior Hello Kitty was rapping about politics, religion, religious stuff, and all that, just being conscious. So, right now, everyone is just not like not understanding what he's doing rapping about kids rapping about ladies like what happened with to me man so the what happened with tricky line it's also a reference from the movie boys and the hood whereby a kid is being shot a footballer american football player freak is being shot and his mom arriving at the scene was like hey yo what happened with tricky man ah that's special man that's special because the, uh, the 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 movie is by Ice Cube and it's actually a reference from a track by NWA member Easy E Boys in the Hood in 1987. So so yeah, that's just the whole hip hop scene around this track, around his verse. So informative, man. Let's go on. To this rap shit is cheeky. I started my business in the back of my mama crib. Was it nobody fucking with us? Now they know more than us, they figure, but something is missing. You are a little different. Inspired by what is written. Somebody. <laughs> it's like inspired by what is written. Somebody lying. Somebody's lines. You know, these rappers who steal lines and all that. And also, like, inspired by but what is written. Like, you are inspired by what? By these rappers who write but fake things about. About things they don't own, rapping about Lamborghinis and all that. No, man, he's not vibing with that. He's not vibing with that. But also, he's like saying, hey, yo, I'm inspired by It Was Rick which is a 1996 album. Line in some of these lines. I'm tired of fucking listening. I vibe with out of ten niggas. Nasty C on the beef for the wind, bitch. Sippy T gorillas hit the kill switch, you bitchin'. That's just the way it goes. He's, he's saying, hey, yo, young star, please hit. Kill the switch, man. You know, youngster CPT is on the track, and then there's DJ Switch, and then Nasty C on the beat for the win. Cause Nasty C is the producer of this track. Much respect to Tommy. What a what a verse, man. I personally do agree that the, he makes every verse five mic after this verse. Uh, that, that That's just the way it go. I ain't complaining, no people get sass. Performing fellatio, bars are the crime scene, collaboration. Yo, CSI come through and never I can. Ayo, he's saying I'm not complaining about all the fake stuff that's happening in this culture around this room, man. Because it's like talking about men kiss ass, which mean which may mean muffing somehow in a sexual scene, and then women performing fellatio, fellatio is actually BJ blowjob. So he's like, hey yo, people are just doing all this fake stuff just to stay relevant and all that. Imagine, man. Come on, youngster. Come on, youngster. Crime scene collaboration. Yo, CSI come through whenever I came in. Yo, killing. Uh, come on, we might stop forever. He's now saying his bums are a crime scene collaboration. Whenever he come through, his bums are a crime scene. Obviously, Hera Show is the lead actor on this CSI crime drama. CSI Miami crime drama. He's the lead. He's the lead actor at the laboratory. So he's like, hey, yo, man. He, he leads the investigations. Hey, yo, man, please call up Russia to come and investigate whenever I'm on the set, whenever I'm, a, I'm on the track, because, you know, I'm about to kill, man. The radio, even your lady knows, says I'm a hero. I never save a whole cape crusader. I got the crazy flow flowing like rivers and spitting that H2O. It's like, hey, yo, man, his judges, he just mentioned his judges, they were about to kill what? The radio, even your lady knows. He calls him a hero, man. He doesn't save hoes. Like to save a who is actually an American phrase, which means to save a woman from a bad life, from a notorious life. So you just take it into your life and she stops doing some bad stuff, maybe selling drugs and, and mostly prostitution. So you pay her bills and all that to save her. But that's just a reference from J. Cole's workout track, 2011 track, whereby he was like, I don't save hoes, I'm not that heroic. Come on, youngster. Never save a whole cape crusader. I got the crazy flow flowing like rivers and spitting that H2O. Well, you are incompetent, you are incapable. Yet they be booking you, you getting paying shows, making a fool of us. Yet you be making though. I am a vato. This isn't me. Ah, 
and now he's talking about these rappers that are getting booked and all that he's saying hey yo man i spit bars my flow is crazy i spit h2o man you know talking about the flows and all that but as for you you are incompetent man yet they be picking you you're making doors and you're making money don't be fooled by the fact that you're getting show paying shows and you're making money because still you're making a fool of us because what you're doing is just rubbish man <laughs> that's an indirect this door I wonder who you are. You be making though, I am a vato. This is in Mexico, I am at four. He go mean and I'm fire. Burning you heavily, lyrically lighter, the greater creator. Ah, man. He's saying burning you heavily. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry, I need to play that again. I'm sorry. And I'm fire. Burning you heavily, lyrically lighter, the greater creator. Burning you heavily, lyrical lighter. He's saying. So he's burning you because he's El Fuego, which means fire. That, that that's just some mexican or maybe italian language so he's burning you heavily because you are lighter but also he's a lyrical lighter that's why he, he's burning you he's a lyrical lighter come on man burning you with the buzz okay okay don't mean and I'm fire, burning you heavily, lyrically lighter. The greater creator, they calling me Tyler. My past was gone, my future is brighter. Come on, come on, boy, come on, come on, youngster. He's saying, come on, man. Tyler, the creator, my past was old, my future is brighter. You know, Tyler, the creator's group is old future. So, yeah, he's just playing with all this group rhyme scheme and talking about his past. That it may be strange, but his future is surely brighter, just like Tyler, the creator's group or the future come on <laughs> Ah, Boss was on, my future is brighter. Cops are nigh, 2015. Hanging at the taxi, haven't got teeth. Wolf on Wall Street, looking for the sheep. Sacrifice lambs, you think it was Eve. Nas ah, come on, man. Wolf of Wall Street, looking for a sheep. Wolf of Wall Street is some, it's actually someone who's hungry for success. So he's saying, I'm, I'm a Wolf of Wall Street, man. I'm hungry for success. But. Right now, I'm hungry for a sheep. I'm looking for sheep to sacrifice it because there is this, it's what we call Eid, whereby it's the ceremony for breaking fast for Muslims. He's a Muslim. So he's doing all this, man, just to get a sheep and to sacrifice it. What a religious man. I respect that big time. Wolf of Wall Street and also uh, on the Wall Street because Wall Street, there's also this movie Wolf of Wall Street where it's just talk about the New York Stock Exchange and also in 2011 after Nelson Mandela's death uh, the flag of South Africa was actually hanged on that New York Wolf of Wall Street respect to Matiba See me Kurban, Walaikum Salam, I'm straight from the couple, the way up to Bram, Young CPT, remember my name, I'm killing the verse and I'm done. That's just the way And then he's saying goodbye to us, peace, peace be unto you, which is like what Muslims say, man. Walaikum Salam, peace be unto you. Come on, youngster. And he talked about Koban, which is a ceremony of sacrificing sheep during the Eid, which is a ceremony of breaking fast. Thanks for the verse, man. Thanks for the special verse. Is a cool nigga, but there's more you can do with it. You sounding a little like so and so, man. There's more you can fuse with it. It's like no one can move with a groove with it. You're too lyrical. There's room for improvement. Bitch, if there's room for improvement, I'm getting lit with my crew with it. Let's see. Come on, let's see. Like, people are telling him that he's cool, but there's more he can do. Like, they are criticizing his kind of rap and they say they are saying he's too lyrical. Imagine how they came, how fucked up the game is. People are supposed to be lyrical, but now hip hop fans are dissing him for being lyrical. Imagine how crazy there is, man. And they're saying there's room for improvement. And if there's a room for improvement, he just gets in with his squad on that room. So he never leaves his niggas behind, man. Talking about success and other. If he makes it, his niggas too makes it. Okay, next day I get you, I get you, my guy. Get you. Man, I'm getting lit with my crew with it. Who got the juice? We gon' run them up. Tell them swallow your pride and I cough it up. Ain't it ironic? Is it ironic? Do me came to switch the volume up, but he say hello, kid and nigga, are you nuts? Return of the king, now the bar is up. Niggas mad cause they got cut and never got a cut. 
Oh, yeah, he's talking about to me, hello, Kiri. He said, People dissing the track, and then he says, Return of the King. Now the boy is up. Return of the King is an album by to me, Molekan. You should get it, man, because after dissing him about the track, he released an album, Return of the King. And indeed, it was a Return of the King because there are so many top tracks. It's just a five mic album. Hello, Stogie. <laughs> it's just a five mic album because there are tracks like In Defense of My Art, which feature which features Reason and Zion and Visa, which features Busi. So it's just a great album. And so yeah, that's a return of a king, man. A king doesn't fall, but it comes back stronger. Okay, Nestin. Okay, boy. I get you. Niggas mad cause they got cut and never got a cut I don't give a fuck as fuck I'm an a-hole from the A-class That's the way it go, man Three dots Been the type of dude that needed no connections, man Fuck a minute, three G-spot Oh, come on, man Come on Now he's dissing these boys They're freshly caught These boys who claim that they own the track Juice back The track that actually made NSTC famous Actually, they said The track was supposed to be Juice packed Whereby they talk about a juice not being packed on their lunchbox so they were supposedly gonna feature nasty c on that on that song so they actually gave nasty the beat and the whole concept of the song so without their concern nasty c decided to do this track and then yeah eventually it popped instead of being juice packed by the pussy boys it was juice packed by nasty c and he's saying these niggas are mad because they ain't got a cut <laughs> so yeah he didn't pay them a sh shit so i don't know what really happened between the the that group freshly goes uh and nasty c man and then he went on to talk about three thoughts you know three thoughts when you are writing and you just put those three thoughts it, it, it means an intentional omission so him leaving out the boys from the checks or maybe not giving him a cent it's intentional man it's not a mistake <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah it's like oh three three deaths been a type of dude that needed no connections man fuck a minute three g spot keep the word play mate search late if you scared mate go to church way i go her place from a church day to this church day mate word sir that's just the way it goes and then he calls himself half god he calls him heckles man come on man Okay, we are done. Please, on the comment section, make sure you comment. Tell us which was your favorite line and which song you might like for us to analyze or maybe break down on our next video. Keep the comments coming. Please make sure you like the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment on the channel. Much respect. Your boy Prince. I'm signing out. Thanks for the day, man. Be good.